Hey everybody, welcome to Let's Play RC. And today we will be doing a review on the Axial SCX-10 2017 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited and it is a one-tenth scale as well as four-wheel drive and it is also a ready-to-run vehicle as you can see. So let's get to it. I'm Dylan and I'm Kelvin and on this channel we do everything RC such as tips tricks and reviews we also do repairs and upgrades and some wicked run videos and much more uh, Dylan and I are father son we love playing with RC's and we want to share our passion with you remember guys RC's for everyone so let's get to the review so if you're new around here consider subscribing right Good point. No, um, anyway, so let's get to this review, right, buddy? What do you think? What was your th well, first thoughts? First of all, I really like this Jeep. My One of my favorites about it is the windows, how they're clear. Because I know there's some crawlers out there that have pure black windows. Yeah. And for a scale truck, it doesn't look very good, so you'll have I to agree. replace them with clear. And also, you can put an interior in there and all That's that. right. You could, yeah. Then you yeah. could install an interior and make it more scale, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, like what do you think? Uh, I know you were talking in earlier to me about the uh, the bumpers. What do you think about those? I love the front bumper, the clearance on it, because when you go over a big boulder, if there's not enough clearance, which there usually is, but there is if there isn't. It kind of hits the rock and it kind of just slides right on over because of the yeah, approach. Yes, so I think, I think what you're talking about is the, the way they angled the bumpers. Yeah, the, they have a better approach and departure angle, yeah, right? Yeah, this so, is a, the approach angle yeah. is pretty good for the front bumper. I personally think overall, ready to run out of the box, it's a pretty capable truck. Yeah. Um, you know, there's a lot, lot to like about it. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll continue talking about a few of those things. What yeah. about these tires? They're pretty good, I well, think. I think they're very good tires. The only downfall on them is they're not too soft, which they So they could do. be a, they could be yeah. a little softer. Yeah. But and also another thing is a little bit more grip that I could add to them. The skinniness and tallness is good for crawling. I like that about these I tires. I agree. I agree. Yeah, no, but again, buddy, like you said, because it's a ready to run truck, they're actually pretty decent. And I agree they could be a little softer, but they're still a nice tire. Um, oh, you know what I think is actually really cool about this truck is ready to run. It comes with lights. Yeah. Already now, are they a complete scale light? No, because there's no brakes, no signals, but you have headlights and tail lights. So that's kind of a neat little addition. I also really like the um hub, the uh, nuts and the tires. Yeah. Because oh, because because yeah. they have the little cover. I'll take it off. Yeah. The little cover here to cover your actual hex adapter yeah. or hex nut inside there. So yeah, that's kind of cool. You know, I'm not 100% sure yet because we haven't had this truck that long, but I'm wondering if that wouldn't help keep some of the moisture out of there. Probably, that's probably so, part of the reason they got it. Are you gonna drop them down? Or are you gonna keep them like that? Yeah, we'll drop them Drop them down? Yeah. Um, another thing, this Jeep comes with a bag over there with a whole bunch of oh, stuff. Oh, you want me to show it? Yeah, it does. Okay, well, yeah, so it comes with this bag of goodies. There's actually a couple extra drive shaft pieces in here and extra servo horns and body posts and there's then also, there's a whole bunch of other little things in there there's but there's also a couple windshield wipers yeah. and also this horn which you're supposed to put there but i'm sure the way my dad can do stuff he can mount it like anywhere almost so yeah i think it's, it might not look good everywhere but it i think it's mostly better. meant yeah. for something like that yeah. it's not really it's my thing good. personally but not not really me also either. buddy don't forget this also comes with like door handles yeah little door handles so that it makes it more scale you'd have to install those and then there's also hinges for the the hood and doors. I think the doors and all that too so yeah. that way you can bring it up to a little more scale another thing I don't really like about this truck not too much is the grill you don't like the grill no I think it kind of looks a little fake well, yeah, but you know what, buddy? You can also take that out and paint it silver. Yeah, I get that. And then it would be more realistic, like a radiator, looks, right? Because there's a radiator 
grill right in there. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, if you took it out and painted it silver, it would look yeah. more realistic. So but it's, I just don't really think stock it looks. And I know good. Dylan mentioned this earlier, which is kind of cool, is these little uh, clip tags. So, and I know you can buy these tags separately in Cons stores for pretty much any. Yeah, but it comes. But this stock. came with them on, which was kind of neat. Makes it a little easier to pull in and out, especially for kids. That's what I find. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the ones. Most clips that get difficult for Dylan to pull sometimes, and I gotta yeah. give him a hand with that. I forget we're on this camera, not that camera. Um, this is our show off camera, and this is our main camera. And hopefully, guys, our sound is getting better, and we've also added a new light, so hopefully that'll help as well. Um, now, you'll see that in uh, when we do an unboxing of this truck. If you check out that video, <laughs> we will way. link that card right here somewhere, actually. Yeah. So, yeah, right here. I'll put that card up here. Is it up here or is it up here? It's in one of your top corners. I'm not sure. We're new to this. So, anyways, um, so that's uh, this. Oh, the, I also so the Axial comes with a steel frame. I think we talked about that on the unboxing, which is kind of cool. Uh, the one thing I would like to see on a truck like this would be an inner wheel well fender. Um, but overall it's good. I mean, we ran it pretty hard on some rocks and stuff, which will be in another video, by the way. This will actually be a part of a playlist, so maybe we'll link that playlist somewhere too. Ha! Um, but anyhow, um, I found the servo to be quite good. It doesn't have a lot of torque, but it hasn't given up on us, and it's also, worked hard. Also, like so. these green things, there's two of them that come in there. They're like kind of little jack things for the tire. You usually use them like that, but I kind of went creative and did that. Yeah, and I don't think those um, are for unflattening but, the tires. I think it's just for display. Yeah, they are. Just to and make it also, look cool. Um, I, there, you can get them at www.axialracing.com. Well, I think you can get all this there, buddy. That's yeah. Axial's website, right? So, but this yeah. is where you get them. If you guys don't know WWE a lot, so. yeah, I'm sure. I'm. Uh, we can. We'll put the the yeah. product number in the description, um, and then you can decide where to find it. Uh, yeah. We we're not affiliated with anybody. We're just doing this review based simply on our thoughts of driving this truck. Another thing I don't really oh, like I want to talk about something you don't like? Disappointing. Disappointing, okay. Here, I'll show them you pointed out. These rock guards here. Yeah. They, like the body is flimsy itself, which that's okay, but if I had to change, if I had a choice to change one thing right now, it would be to change these because they don't have very high and like when you like or when you go like this, they're not very high back here, so it goes like that. So at this point, would you think that that would be the one thing we absolutely want to change first? Yeah, probably. Or upgrade? Hey? One of them yeah, things. okay. Another thing you guys probably can't see lately because it's kind of hidden, but there is lights behind these little orange stickers here. Yeah, that's right. And the orange stickers just make the white lights go orange. Yeah, that's right. They do too, don't they? Yeah. That's a really good point. I never thought about that. Let's just pop the body quick. And, uh, yeah, I mean, there's not much to talk about on an overview Mother? on the inside of the yeah. truck. Um, the one thing I will talk about quickly is uh, Dylan and I changed our plug to a Traxxas plug uh, because we use Traxxas I, batteries. I and um, we've talked about this in other videos and we'll keep reminding people the only reason we use Traxxas ID, first that's what we started with, and second, it's easy for kids like Dylan, it's a simple plug and push a button. No balance plugs, none of that junk to try and figure out. So that's why we use it. So every truck we get from, for now, we'll get a new end. And we have a video on changing those over too, if anybody's curious. Um, also, another thing, it, that I really like about this truck, even with the body on, it's pretty light for kids. So it's not like some other trucks, like a lot of bigger trucks are heavier and some other crawlers are heavier. Yeah, like your Summit's pretty heavy. Yeah. <laughs> your 110 Summit's a heavy Just truck. Just like the X-Max and yeah. all them bigger trucks. But this one's like... So when your battery dies where, and you're out, you can carry it home even if you're little. <laughs> to the point where... 
I can lift it with my bad arm. I'm not the strongest kid on the world. Awesome. Okay, so um, I think that's pretty much all we really wanted to talk yeah. about, right? Overall, it's a pretty good ready-to-run truck. It is ready to run other than your battery, yeah. uh, but it's fun. We're having a blast with it, and we haven't broke anything yet, so it's fairly durable. So, so guys, uh, we've had an awesome time running this truck, and we wanted to share with you a little review and our thoughts. Um, I think uh, that's it. We don't want to take up too much of your time today, but uh, in the meantime... Um, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to also hit that notification bell. It'll give you a little thing every time um, you got uh, we upload a new video. Um, also hit that like button too. It'd be very much appreciated. All right, guys. Thanks. Until next time. Get out and play.